cash discounts are offered in the terms of sale. Let's take a look at calculating cash discounts and net amount due. A transaction with no cash discount would have terms of sale of net 30. This means that the net amount of the invoice is due in 30 days. If a cash discount is offered, the terms of sale would be written as 2, 10, N, 30, which means that a 2% cash discount may be taken if the invoice is paid within 10 days. If not, the net amount is due in 30 days. This exhibit shows a timeline of the discount period and credit period on an invoice dated October 15th. The 210N30 terms of sales stipulate a cash discount if the bill is paid within 10 days. If not, the balance is due in 30 days. As you can see, the cash discount period runs for 10 days from the invoice date, October 15th through October 25th. The credit period, 30 days, extends from the invoice date through November 14th. Sometimes two cash discounts are offered, such as 315, 125, and 60. This means a 3% cash discount is offered if the invoice is paid within 15 days, a 1% discount if the invoice is paid within 25 days, and the net amount due in 60 days. Cash discounts cannot be taken on shipping charges or returned goods, only the net price of the merchandise. If shipping charges are included in the amount of an invoice, they must be subtracted before the cash discount is taken. After the cash discount has been deducted, the shipping charges are added back to give the invoice total. If arriving merchandise is damaged or is not what was ordered, those goods will be returned to the vendor. The amount of the returned goods also will be subtracted from the amount of the invoice. They are no longer part of the transaction. Here are the steps to calculate the net amount due or cash discount of an invoice. Step 1. Calculate the amount of the cash discount by multiplying the cash discount rate by the net price of the merchandise. Cash discount equals net price times cash discount rate. Step 2. Calculate the amount due by subtracting the amount of the cash discount from the net price. Note, as with trade discounts, buyers are frequently more interested in the net amount due than the amount of the discount. When that's the case, we can simplify the calculation by using the complement method to determine the net amount due. Net amount due equals net price, 100% minus the cash discount rate. Remember, shipping charges or returned items are not subject to cash discounts. These must be deducted from the invoice before the cash discount is applied. After the discount is taken, shipping charges, if any, are added back to get the invoice total. Let's take a look at an example. Rugs.com buys merchandise with an invoice amount of $16,000 from Cardist and Carpet Mills. The terms of sale are 2010 N30. Step 1. Calculate the amount of the cash discount. Cash discount in this case would be the $16,000 times .02 to equal $320. Next, calculate the amount due. The net amount due is equal to 16,000 minus the 320 to equal 15,680 dollars.